Ah, Cubo. Isn't this such an amazing channel? Cubo has to be one of the best non-cable channels of all time. Well, especially for me. It has to be one of the best non-cable channels of all time. I mean, for kids, obviously. It's not as popular as PBS Kids, but it's still one I consider one of the best ones. Their shows are creative, detailed, and fantastic for any kid to see. But there are ones that I can consider the best. The ones that I grew up with, which I can say are amazing. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing the top 16 best Cubo shows. Why top 16? Because there's a lot that are just so nostalgic, I couldn't just do 10. So, here are the top 16 best Cubo shows. I wasn't really feeling on this one, you know, I'm not saying this show's bad or anything, I think it's a okay show, it's just, it wasn't really getting me that much. It has a decent plot to it, I mean a horse who tap dances at a circus, and a boy who I think helps him, I don't really know much about this show, but I just think it's a pretty decent show, just to say the least. The characters are nice, you know, the animation is slick, the show is fine for itself, it's just not one of my favorites I'll really count on. Yeah, I never really watched this cartoon a lot as a kid. I seen some clips, but I never seen full episodes of it. It looks alright. I mean, the animation is good. I mean, for its intro for 3D animation, it looks really good. Um, Bang Ian isn't really a cartoon I watched as a kid, but it looks pretty enjoyable to me. Characters look cool. Characters look, I mean, stylized well. You know, it just looks, it just looks pretty freaking cool. I consider Bang Ian an alright cartoon for some. I like this show. I mean, seriously, like, Zula Patrol, it's a good show for education. I mean, if it's gonna be a show about talking about science and, you know, teaching science to kids and stuff, I'm okay with it. I enjoy the characters, I enjoy the plot to the story. They're two villains that I can honestly find they're so annoying and everything else. I can't really remember their names, but I think one has like a messed up haircut. I don't know, but like, I think the show is really good. Like, it talks about that was about, I think, the planets, you know, the space, learns about science and stuff. It's a pretty decent show for kids to learn about science. I enjoy it. If you want a show that's talking about science and stuff, you know, teach you a lot of stuff about chemicals, space, and all that other stuff, I think this show's good to show your children. My Friend Rabbit, huh? I think this show's not that bad. I mean, there's lots of enjoyable characters and enjoyable stories with enjoyable episodes. I think it's a pretty decent show. It has a catchy theme song with likable characters. I like this show. It's nothing that special with it not being... I mean, to be honest, I don't even know if it's like the most popular Cubo show or the most least popular. Like, I think it seems as a popular show for the network. Like... I think it's a good show. Like, I watch it a few times, but I enjoy some of the episodes. I think my favorite character out of the whole entire series would kind of have to be the rabbit. As you know, he can get himself into, like, big situations here and there, but hey, it's all figured out. I think My Friend Rabbit is an alright show in my opinion. Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's art Zuka. Now, this isn't even a cartoon, but it's still a really enjoyable show. I mean, a guy teaching you how to do art is awesome. It's kind of like Art Attack. You remember that old show? If you're like a 90s kid, you kind of remember that show. It's basically a show like that, but this time he's teaching you lots of stuff. 
He's teaching you uh, origami. He's teaching you lots of, I don't know, painting, sculpting, like just in creative ideas, which make you wonder you wanting to do it too. That's what kind of inspired me to do art today. I like Artzuka. I like you, Jeremy Sanders. I pronounced that wrong. Jamie Sanders, I think that's his name. I don't know. I'll just call him Jamie. I like you, Jamie. I like Arzuka. And I really like this whole entire show. I think this show is really good for children that want to do art in the future. This show has a really good idea. I mean, for a children's show, this is really cool. Dogs racing each other, you know, being auto repair people, you know, just fixing up the cars and racing each other. That's an awesome idea. And it's an awesome show as well. Like, the characters are cool. Everything in there is silly. Like, there is some really cool stuff that are added into the show. Like, I, I really like this show. Like, it's a good show with a good plot with good characters. I can easily say that Turbo Dogs is one show I cannot stop watching. Well, when it's on all the time, but still, it's a show I can never stop watching. Ah, go Fred. The only show I only watched all the time just for that amazing theme song. Like, seriously, I can literally show that to any kid and they'll be happy. Like, just make them listen to this theme song and they'll be happy all the time. When they're feeling sad, I'll just let them listen to that theme song. The episodes are good, the characters are cool, but it's a decent show because, like, it's not a popular show in my opinion. Like, I watch this show all the time. Like, I really like this show. But to be honest, this show isn't really that popular as people would think because it can't compete to the other shows that air on this channel. But it's still a pretty good show. With a catchy theme song and amazing characters, I think Go Fred is a good show. Just from hearing that intro, you know you're up for some excitement. Pecola. I love this show to my deepest heart because I just think it's a classic that aired on Cubo. Even though it was a new show around the time, it's still one of the best ones. Like, it's creativity animation, and it's a lot of excitement and silliness. This show can really pack a punch. Like. This show can really be amazing for just a kid to watch. They'll watch this show all the time, and that kid was me. Like, I'll watch this show all the time, just from how silly and how cool the characters are. Especially Pecola, for how much he really expresses himself over his friends, so. Pecola, Pecola's a good show, in my opinion. Like, a good show. It can't beat the ones that I'm going to talk about next, though. Because these next ones, holy crap, they're better than this show. But this show's still decent, though. Wilma's Wildlife, yeah, this was one popular kid show for Cubo. Wilma's Wildlife is all about a girl who has fun with animals without letting her dad know. Like, a bear and elephants and giraffes, I don't even know most of their names, but the show is really entertaining. It's not one of my favorite shows, but it's one of the, my most nostalgic shows I remember watching from Cubo. If you love animals and you love having fun, Wilma's Wildlife is just for you. This show is really thinking about my honest opinion about it. I mean, the show's good and all, but at the same time, is it that good? Well, first off, it's not that good. It's a good show, but it's not perfect. It's not a bad show, but it's all, it's not awful, to be honest. But it's really gotten in my head. I wasn't really feeling this show when I first watched it, but the more episodes I watched, the more I really got into it. So I think the show is pretty good in my opinion. It's on rank 7. If I could move it to rank 6, I would, but I think it should stay at number 7. Because to be honest, it's not as better as these shows coming up. Yes, added in Grossology. Why? The show's dang awesome. 
I mean, get it. Two teens are fighting villains that are filled in, you know, are addicted to these gross and s disgusting stuff. Like, the villains. I mean, one villain has a giant pimple. I think the other villain is addicted to bugs, and the other villain is just addicted to being stinky. Obviously, that's disgusting. But it also teaches about science, and it also has to deal with disgusting things. That's what I like about this show. Children might not find it that good, but the more they watch it, the more fascinating they might get into it. I think it's a good show in my opinion. Like seriously, it talks about science and literally has tons of action. How could it be a bad show? I think Grossology is a good show in my opinion. But hey, you can like it your own way. La 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 do 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 I always thought this show was for girls, but I started to watch some episodes and I actually found it really entertaining. It's a good show, like seriously. This show wasn't really in my childhood a lot, but I can remember some episodes, but I don't remember a lot. The characters are good, they're funny, they're also at the same time very enjoyable, so I can call this show a good A+. But seriously, the main thing why I remember this show is because this intro is so dang catchy. Like, I could listen to that for hours and wouldn't even give a crap. Like, seriously. There once was a lady in waiting. Let's call her Jane. That girl this show is a classic. Mary. I mean, for Cubo, I think it's a classic. A girl finding a dragon and then she learning how to be a knight while the dragon teaches her, I think, I do not know. I don't remember some of these shows, but I remember them being nostalgic. I just don't remember the plots. So I'm just, here you go. But yeah, this show was severely nostalgic and a true on classic. The story is really good. The characters are good. The animation now, when I look back at it, is really weird, but it's still a good show in my opinion. I would recommend it. Like seriously, like if you really want to watch a show that involves a girl who wants to become a knight and even finds a dragon, I think Jane and the Dragon is the show for you. That girl wasn't ordinary. No way for me, a lady stuck in waiting. I'd run. Yeah, this show also aired on Cubo. Like. It actually aired on Cubo. But seriously, I love Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Like, I love it way more better than Marvin and the Tap Dancing Horse. Like, the characters, they're funny. They can be enjoyable. Like, they're awesome. My favorite character would have to be the Ferocious Beast, because to be honest, he's the one that always made me laugh as a kid. Nevermore, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast has to be a top-notch show. I mean, since it aired on Nickelodeon and now airs on Cubo, it's a really good show. Props to you. Before you guys start going in the comments saying I'm wrong about this and putting this in number two, let me just say this. I love Sally Bollywood. It's actually one of my favorite Cubo shows of all time, but at the same time, I'm sorry. I think this show can't beat the number one show I'm going to recommend in my opinion, but still, the characters are good, the animation looks really funny, and to be honest, I think the episode and the dialogues are just really freaking outstanding. I mean, for a show that only lived for, I think, a short or long while, it's pretty cool. But this show can't be the number one show I'm about to put on this list. You guys can say anything you want in the comments. To be honest, I don't want you to, but hey, I'm going to say right now, you can do it, but hey, I think this show can't beat the number one show I'm going to put on here as the number one best Cubo show of all time. This show was heat, like, literally. This show was legit heat. The mysteries of Alfred Hedgehog. I just, like, everything in this show, I can just say I like. The characters, like, the story, the mysteries, like, it's all entertaining. Like, 
the even the theme song is entertaining as well. Like I've been listening to it for like a lot of times. I think the show is deeply amazing into my heart. I mean, I mean these hedgehogs are like it too if they want to. But hey, it's a good show in my opinion, and that's why I think, in my opinion, it's on. I think I bow. I put this show as the number one best Cubo show of all time. Are any of these your favorites? Did I miss any? Well, tell me in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Dang, this is my first video back, but I promise I'm going to upload at least almost a ton. I'll try, okay? I'm going to have some amazing stuff coming this month and maybe in the future, alright? Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and remember to respect people's opinions.